I'm Steve Most. I'm a cognitive psychologist at UNSW, and uh, over the next several lectures, I'll be talking to you about cognitive psychology. Specifically, we'll be focusing on topics like attention and memory, and uh, a little bit about where it is that this field of its cognitive psychology came from. Now, I have to say that one of my favorite things about being a cognitive psychologist is that because of what I've learned, I'm able to plant thoughts into the minds of my listeners, like you. So let's see if I can do this to you. The first thing I want you to do <clears throat> is to uh, focus on the uh, black and red stripes on my tie and estimate how many uh, stripes you see. All right. Let's see if I can get this to work. So um, <clears throat> now I'm going to flash some uh, cards, some playing cards up on the screen. And uh, when they're all there, I want you to pick a card and, um, and memorize it. Uh, let's see if I can get you to pick the card I want you to pick. Ready? Memorize that card, and I'm going to take them all away. And now I'm going to bring them back. And what should happen is that the card I made you pick should be gone. Ready? How did I do that? Is the card that you picked gone? Well, the question is, how did I plant a thought in your mind? How did I make you pick the card I wanted you to pick? Well, I'll tell you the truth. I lied. I only made it look like I had made you pick the card that I wanted you to pick. And I did it by using what I know about perception and attention. And over the course of the next few lectures, uh, I'll be teaching you about that phenomenon that I relied upon. Uh, I hope you come away from this set of lectures uh, loving cognitive psychology as much as I do. Uh, but first, I have a very important question for you. What happened to my tie?